नेपाल विश्वविद्यालय पूर्वाधार विकास तैयारी समिति को सदस्य अनि साथी अनि विदेश में भाग लेने सब जनाला हार्दिक नमस्कार थैंक यू फॉर इन्वाइटिंग मी म अंग्रेजी बाटी बोल्छु नेपाली बाटी हल्का बोल्छु आज को प्रस्तुति इसको बारे में प्रस्तुति को शीर्षक द टू ट्रेडिशन्स अफ ग्रेको इंडिक लर्निंग द लिबरल आर्ट्स द यूनिवर्सिटी अफ नेपाल एंड रियल वर्ल्ड चैलेंजेस जो मं पड़ी बस् यहाँ हेन अलग अप्ठारो भाई यहाँ अगड़ी बस्ना हमें कुर्सी राखे हिंद यवन विज्ञान को दुईटा परंपरा अंतर्विदात्मक अवधारणा नेपाल विश्वविद्यालय रधुनिक चुनौती हमी यो दुईटा परंपरा को बारे में पैला बनू यो के हो यो दुईटा परंपरा अनि उन्नीर को संबंध के हो उ को ऐतिहासिक संबंध के होने तेस को बारे में मलिक बोलना चाहूँ ते पच्छी अंतर्विदात्मक अवधारणा के हो तो सोच कह आकस को इतिहास के हो भाक्य खोजु नेपाल विश्वविद्यालय के हो रही होना सकता भेस को बारे में विभिन्न सोच होगा मो व्यक्तिगत सोच तक्रियान सकू अनुभव म आधारित दृष्टि मेस पच्चीस आधुनिक चुनौती द चैलेंजेस फॉर टुडे बिकज दे आर रियल चैलेंजेस आई विल ने आई विल आइडेन्टिफाई एट चैलेंजेस एंड थॉक अबाउट दम ब्रिफली एट दी एंड मेरे नेपाली नाम सुरेश हो पैला देखि ना जोर्ज भले अंग्रेजी भो तर हम मतृभाषा हमी घर में बोले डच हो अच्छ बास को उच्चारण सोर्स हो सोर्स सुरेश पैल देखि ना इंडिया में अठारह वर्ष को उमेर में घुम्द फिर घुम्द फिर तो सब सुरेश भो कमे सोर्स है मेरे नाम सोर्स है भन्द भन्द बितीक ठीक बोलो भाई तुम्हारा नाम क्या है सुरेश को हो अ मेरे उच्चारण सो जाऊ सुरेश भाई तुरंत अभी अमृतसर देखी महाबलीपुरम समय सब जाना सुरेश भो ते सुरेश भाई प्राय जसो सब एकजना नेपाली साथी मत जोर्ज भर उ जैसे अंग्रेजी बोल मसंग तर अर्क अर्क सब मैं सुरेश भाई मेरे बारे में अलना चाहे न हम सुरू करूँ पैला मो पश्चिमी विज्ञान को परंपरा को बारे में कुर करना चाहूँ पिथागोरस हमीर सब चिंस पिथागोरस ग्रीस में पिथागोरिस उसको पैला प्रचीन ग्रीस को वास में उसको नाम उमोस भाई टापू में बस को छया शताब्दी में इसी संबत को पैला को सुरुआत भाग अगड़ी छया शताब्दी में बस को प्रेम ज्ञानी भर प्रेम अथवा ज्ञा ज्ञान प्रेमी अने ज्ञान प्रति प्रेम उसे आप शब्द ग्रीस भा ग्रीक भाषा बार नि फिलोसोफिया फिलोसोफिया ज्ञान प्रति प्रेम अभी ऊ ज्ञान प्रेमी भर ऊ आप फिलोसोफस बनो पैल मं जो आप फिलोसोफस बनते फिलोसोफर एंड दिस इज अ बस्त ऑफ पिथाग्रस कैप्ट इन दी कैपिटोल इन म्यूजिम इन रोम वो तस्त देखिथ्यो होने अनुमान जो बस्त दुई हजार भाग वर्ष पुराना ये दुई हजार छ सौ वर्ष अगड़ी उसे फिलोसोफर भाई शब्द निले थी एरेस्टोटो प्लेटो सक्रेटिस भाग अगड़ी Pythagoras noted the regularity of natural laws operative in the cosmos. Hamro universe ma dekhi ne physical laws prakritik niyam haru ulle dekhi ra ulle soche ko har ek manche ramro shiksha pao na kolagi kam se kam yo charo to kura sakli shiksha pao na kolagi yo charo to kura signu pario khagol shastra ganet jamiti. संगीत एस्ट्रोनोमी मैथ्स जियोमेट्री एंड म्यूजिक यूरोप को इतिहास में क्योंकि यह दुई हजार छ सौ वर्ष अगड़ी को कुरा तर एक हजार वर्ष पच्चीस यूरोप में 
यो चार वा विषय क्वाड्रेवियम बन थालियो क्वाड्रेवियम बने चार वा विषय एंड दिज वे द क्वाड्रेवियम एंड यो सब प्रकृतिक नियम उसे मुजिका यूनिवर्स जानस यूनिवर्सल म्यूजिक भो बिकज इट वॉज एन अंडरलाइंग ऑर्डर अफ द कॉजमस दैट यू सी एवरीवेयर इन ऑल अफ नेचर एंड दिस इज वॉट ही कॉल्ड मुजिका यूनिवर्स आनस At the same time, fifth century BC, Hamro isi sambat survat banda agari pan swa setabi ma the Sophoi or sages, budi bai ko pura pakaru just as Gorgias, Kratilos again before Plato, before Socrates, they talked about the three arts. व्याकरण व्याकरण तर्कशास्त्र, रेटरिक, ग्रामर एंड लॉजिक, डिसिप्लिन्स केम टू बी नोन एज द ट्रिवियम, 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 त्यो एक हजार वर्ष पी एक हजार छ पांच सौ वर्ष पी अथवा आज कल को आज आज बार देख रहे एक हजार वर्ष अगड़ी यू अफ सेंट विक्टर यो हबरसनाथ को मं जर्मनी को हबरसनाथ बार पेरिस में बसता उसे ट्रिवियम को बारे में कई लेख्य ग्रामर इज द नलेज अफ हाउ टू स्पीक विदउट एरर लॉजिक इज द क्लियर साइटेड आर्ग्युमेंट विच सेपरेट्स द ट्रुथ द ट्रू फ्रॉम द फॉल्स रेटरिक इज द डिशिप्लिन अफ प्रिस्वेडिंग विथ रिगार्ड टू एनी सुटेबल मैटर Grammar, logic, rhetoric, trivium, trivium, raqwa trivium. Antar vidhat me kavadhara na ke ho ban. What is liberal arts? When was this word first used? This word was first used five hundred years later in the Roman period by Cicero. Yo to kitab ma de invenzione, de invenzione bani ko about invention or about ingenuity. तस्त किब में उसे आर्टिस्ट लिबरालिस वी हेव टू रिमेम्बर आर्टिस्ट आज कल आर्ट लंग्रेजी शब्द आर्ट सुंदा हमी कला समझ कला हो ललित कला फाइन आर्ट्स तर तीखे आर्टिस्ट आर्स बहुवचन आर्टिस्ट रो प्रचीन रोम को लैटिन भाषा बार आर्स आर्टिस्ट को अर्क अर्थ लगे आर्स आर्स आर्टिस्ट ज्ञान क्षमता इसको अर्क अर्थ लगे आर्टिस्ट लिबरालिस के हो यो द फर्स्ट एटेस्टेशन इज इन दिस बुक इट इज इन द फर्स्ट सेंचुरी बीसी इसी संपत को सुरुआत भाई अगड़ी पैलो शताब्दी एकदम पैला दिस इज आर्टिस्ट लिबरालिस वट आर दे द सेवेन लिबरल आर्ट्स दे वर समराइज बाय द सेम यू अफ सेंट विक्टर इन पेरिस उसे के लेखे ऊ पर प्रचीन रोम को लैटिन भाषा बार लेखे ग्रामाटिका लोकुतुर डिटिका वेरा दोसैत रेटोरिका वेरबा कोलोरात मुजिका कानित अरिथमेटिका नुमेरात गेउमेत्रिया पोंदरात आस्ट्रोनोमिया दोसैत आस्त्रा अंग्रेजी अनुवाद में के ग्रामर स्पीक्स व्याकरण बोल लॉजिक तर्कशास्त्र लॉजिक टीचर्स ट्रुथ्स रेटरिक गिव्स कलर टू स्पीच म्यूजिक सिंग्स अरिथमेटिक काउंट्स जियोमेट्री वेज एंड मेजर्स एंड एस्ट्रोनोमी टीचर्स द स्टार्स एंड दिस इज आर्ट फ्रॉम द ट्वेल्थ सेंचुरी इन व्हिच ऑल ऑफ द सेवेन लिबरल आर्ट्स आर डिपिक्टेड व्हेन वी थिंक ऑफ एस्ट्रोनोमी एंड फिजिक्स वी थिंक एग्जैक्ट साइंसेस बट दिस इज लेटर बिकॉज In the liberal arts, this the Vigyan Haru Sapai included Hunza. Originally, the seven liberal arts were advocated by the ancient Greeks, Duhi Jar Chosai Barsa Agari, as constituting Enkiklios Pedeia. Enkiklios Pedeia, bani ko Sarvangin Vikas. Even in the law text, the legal text that is now going through the Parliament here in Nepal, we talk about and we emphasize the importance of the uh, liberal arts, 
in uh, creating Harek Vyaktiko Sarvangin Vikas, the well-rounded education, the, the whole man, Atva, woman, the whole Junsuki Vyaktiko, Gyan Purahos, Yoda Bises, the Matrinohos. In the Renaissance, Europe ko itihasma banikos Sorvara Satarma Shatabima, the trivium became known as the Studia Humanitatis or the Humanities, and the Quadrivium became known as the Sciences, or more properly, the Exact Sciences, because the Humanities are also Sciences. So the Exact Sciences and the Sciences, the Quadrivium and the Trivium. And that led to today's Colleges of Arts and Sciences, because in Angreji, Francisi, German, Basama, Kunst, Les Arts, the Arts, Baneko, Alikati Kalatira, Bane, Matlab, Lagna Thalio, this is the change in language, the uh, semantic shift in language, because before arts encompassed science, the liberal arts encompassed science. So when we talk about the liberal arts, we also mean science. La, Aile Sama Masabiata, a Pashimi Sabiata Kobarima Boli Reko, too, your Pashimi Parampara Kobarima Boli Reko, too, your Biswe the Aleko Stavana Banda Agari. What did we have in Europe? We had cathedral schools. Uh, Mandir Kochoma, school Haru Huntio, Vidyale Haru, Vidya Pit Haru Huntio, Tian K. Parantio, Greek Vasa, Yavan Haru Ko Vasa, Prachin Rome Ko Latin Vasa, Ra Hebrew, Yehudi Roko Prachin Vasa, Ra Tio Vasa, Yotio Tino the Vasa Ko Mabium Dvara, transmitted texts. So Tisto Kisum Ko School Haru Tio, this is an example of one school that happens to be in Leiden. You might think, why is it famous? Just because Rembrandt, Vishwa Prakat, Kala Kartian, Padeko Le Garda, Ho Ki Hoina, Ti Utian Padeko Ta Ho Tara. It is one of the oldest schools that also taught Teotino de Basa Baik, Prachin Paras Ko Basa, Prachin Paras Baneko Aileko Parasi, Tara Prachin Parasi Basa, Ani Adunik Iran Ko Basa Arkeo, Prachin Paras Ko Basa. Maleke ko gataharu, Zaratustra ko dharma, siksa, ravigyan ko baremate sapai, transmitted and was taught in these cathedral schools. Uh, this is not Christian education, this is Mano Sabyata ko prachin gyan, transmit by ko testo cathedral schools. Um, then the school, then the universities were established. Sabanda Pailo. Aile sama hune bisidiale Universita di Bologna, atwa Alma Mater Studiorum, Italy co Bologna Matteo, Isi Sambat Ekajar, Atasi Salma Stapanabaiko, bisidiale ho, Tispaci Arco Arco Toma, bisidiale Stapanabaiko, just a Portugal co Imbra, Ekajar, Isi Sambat co Ekajar, do we say Nabe Salma Stapanabaiko, Prague, bisidiale co Karlova University, Ekajar, Tinse. Uh, Artali Samastapanabaiko, these old universities, they still exist today. They are still Unirko Veganic Utpadan Dere Tuluunsa Ajkalpani. There's a lot of scientific output publications. The semester system that is in use in Europe today is called the Bologna system because Bologna is still an important uh, important Ajkalko uh, Adunik Bangsunagat Bangsanagat Gunko Anusnan Modern Population Genetics per Center Bologna Paniho. But we have to learn from the past because these universities are still successful today, but there are also universities that we don't hear about too much. How many of you have heard of the University of Harderweg? Hamile Suniko China, Tibisri Daleko Barima. Harderweg, Ma Kune Prakat Manche Pariko Paniho, Justo Carl Linnaeus. Ami Afnu man of Jati like Homo sapiens bunch of Homo sapiens. Tio Viganic Nam Ho. Harek Praniko Viganic Nam Hunza. Pukur de Kilira, Khan is familiar, Aras Deki, Yo Hamro Dan, Kani Dan, Kochamal Kobat, Tio Oriza Sativa, Atava, Atava, Hamro Petma, Pasne, Amoeba, Histolithic, Harek Prani, Harek Bod Biva, Harek Janmar, Koviganic Nam. त्यो बिनोमिनल सिस्टम निकालने बने 
अथवा प्रचलित कराने क्योंकि उसे वास्तव में पैलो नि होने तर उ दुनिया में विज्ञान विद्वान में एस्टाब्लिश करने तो कारण लिने उपसला स्वीडेन को उपसला को मं ऊ कह पढ़े उपसला को हर एक उपसला विश्वविद्यालय को हर एक प्रध्यापक कह तालीम प्राप्त भारत सत्रव शताब्दी में हलैंड में गेर गणतंत्र हलैंड गणतंत्र थी द डच रिपब्लिक में अने रामस इतिहास न पढ़ने अथवा इतिहास तेरह रुचि मत लिने मं कई अनुमान कर सकते वेल कालिनेस ही वॉज सो फेमस ही एस्टाब्लिश द मॉडर्न सीस्टम अफ बायोलॉजिकल टेक्सोनोमी इन हिज सीस्टिम सीस्टम नथुरा अवश्य ऊ हलैंड को सब भाई प्रख्यात सब भाई ठूल सब भाई पुरानो सब भाई धेरे वैज्ञानिक उत्पादन भारत विश्वविद्यालय में पढ़े हो तर ते अनुमान गलत होने हि स्टडी इन द यूनिवर्सिटी अफ हरदर वैग वाई डू वी नट नो अब द यूनिवर्सिटी अफ हरदर वैग हि खेम टू लाइड इन विश्वविद्यालय तैंक होर्तुस बुटानिकुज तैंक बोटानिकल गार्डन देख रही उपसला में उसको थ्रेड गार्डन बोटानिस के थ्रेड गार्डन तैंक बोटानिकल गार्डन स्थापना Why do we not hear about Harderwijk University? It was very famous and important for some time, for some years. Chaleko, kine bani? Holland ko sarkar baik, tino ta jilla ko sarkar, yeah, tino de jilla thiyo mele ra jo university lai ekdom support garaiko. Tera jo university ko thaun thik thiye na. It was in a Durgam chetra. They did everything to make the university buildings wonderful and well equipped. Pustakale panitio, dere thulo pustakale. But vari pari there was nothing. There was kit. Well, kit, dan ko kit. Thiena Holland ma gaon gaon ko kiti. Ani they there was no ecosystem. There was no samuday ko ecosystem. There was no city. Uh, विद्वान तान सकिन विद्वान धेरी बसर अम्म हरदर वैक ए गाँव हो कई एट सानो शहर हो तर इसको मतलब छेन एनी दैट यूनिवर्सिटी फेल्ड बिकज इट फेल टू बी इम्बेडेड इन अ प्रोपर इको सीस्टम इफ वी लुक एट हार्वर्ड फॉर इक्जापल इट इज इन बॉस्टन दे आर मेनी अदर यूनिवर्सिटीज टू बॉस्टन यूनिवर्सिटी एमआईटी अर्क अर्क विश्वविद्यालय it gives synergy there is a city there is a total ecosystem an academic community can thrive there but if you put it in a durgam chetra and a great historian and philosopher hamilai ek sai barsa agadi ke banyo bani if we do not learn the lessons of history if we do not learn the mistakes of history we will be doomed to repeat them remember this later in the talk because hardwick is a good example this is now taking us to america this is where they established the new Bas college hajir ar ar ko deri manche le baneko thyo thyo tei kura deri manche tei kura baneko ani dohara aeko tara bhai mero anusandhan sabanda pailo manche thyo bhanne thyo jor chan ta yana tara dohara aeko deri manche le ho ओ थो पास्कल ने उसे धेरे मानी कुरो दोहरा हो तो एकदम मिलो न्यू कॉलेज वॉज इस्टाब्लिश इन 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 द मैसेच्यूस बे कॉलोनी तो ये अपनी बेस इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका इन सिक्सटीन थर्टी सिक्स आफ्टर दिज इंग्लिश कॉलोनिस्ट एंड अर्क यूरोपियन कॉलोनिस्ट दे रिबेल्ड एगेन्स्ट दियर मदर कंट्री ते नया देश निस्को Only later, this this college came to be known as Harvard University in 1780. Paila ko gar haru jun tia stapana bai ko aile samachai na. The oldest building is this one from Massachusetts Hall. The American system is very different from the European system because this difference originated later, because they had they transplanted the European system of the liberal arts. quadrivium and trivium the seven liberal arts and they started making this and it was very suitable to america because they had to start jungle ma ekdam because they lived in the jungle they came and then they displaced the adivasi people 
they wiped them out and they established a European society there. Now it is Canada, the United States of America. This liberal arts model survived there. Meanwhile, in Europe, they made such specializations in the secondary schools that uh, in the university, everyone is already specialized. You don't have many liberal arts in Europe. You have it in America. And this is why. So in Europe, it's called disadvantage harupani uncha. Mero afnu Holland mapani dis ko disadvantage haru dekincha. Switzerland mapani. If you are a late bloomer, Actually, if you are a late bloomer, and many people who are very gifted, Einstein was a late bloomer. This is the system Europe, Matiana, Einstein, Kobelema, you're John Rigid, Michael, but if you are a late bloomer, you can flourish in the liberal arts because later you can find your niche. But if in the modern system in Holland, you will already be in a vocational school, you will not be able to enter the university because you will have been sifted out. So it is a little bit unfair. So now people like Hamro Bipin Adhikari Hamro, Dr. Arjun Karki Harule, Hamro, we are advocating here in Nepal in this legal text, a liberal arts, and I think it is right, even though I come from a European system. So I think it is right. <clears throat> and now I want to talk about the world, because in the world, this is a map based on the map of Claudius Ptolemy in the first century AD, this is 2000 years old, this map. It is, of course, the version, the, this version of the map is only 600 years old, but the, this is made later by Johannes Schnitzer, but it is based on the map of Claudius Ptolemy that is uh, uh, I, now 2000 years old from the first century, second century, actually, second century, excuse me, so 1900 years old, second century AD. And it is the map of the civilized world. And what you see when you look at the civilized world, you see Hulk, 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 Paschim Tira, Yavanaharu Baseko, Greece, Hulk, Debre Tira, Hamro Himali Beg Muniko, Upamahadip, the Indian subcontinent. This is where the two centers of, and in between, we have here Zarathustra, Kodarmbaiko, Paris. The reason there's this is one continuum and this is the heartland of civilization. And there are, I have talked about the Western tradition. Now I want to talk about the Eastern tradition. This Bichma, there's also the Persians. Let us talk about this Eastern tradition. In the 6th century BC and the 5th century BC, the 4th century BC, we have 16 so-called Mahajanapada. These Mahajanapada are Adirajas, Kune Adiraja Hunsa, Kune Ganatantra Hunsa. Very famous, of course, is Kosala, because we think of Kosala. Kinebane Kosala Antargat Sakya Adiraja Pani Pario, Sakya Raja Hamro, Nepalko, Gautama Buddha, Usko Janava Buni, Bumitis, Betra Pario, Lumbini. So these were centers of civilization. And the reason that we had contact between Greece the, and, and Puran, Purano Pashmi Sabita and this area, and we know when we read the ancient texts of Pythagoras and the Stoics and the Epicureans, you, if you read the original text you, and you know your old Buddhist Shastras and you know the Upanishads, you cannot escape the conclusion that this knowledge came from the East and that some knowledge here came from the West. We know this because there was interaction and this it, interaction is also historically documented. So it is actually two traditions separated by Persia for military reasons, but two traditions that are united. So we have this knowledge here and in the Achaemenid Empire, we know in this period, 600s, when Pythagoras was alive, there was Yavanaharu Ra, Haras Haru Bichma, Yotulo Yud. This, and this, this kept going. Later, Sikandar came all the way to uh, uh, Taxila. He came all the way here. So we had this military history between the Greeks. But when we look at the old art, this is in uh, the National Museum in Tokyo, and this uh, piece is in British Museum. We see Greek art from Gandharan Sabyata. This is Ajkalko, 
Afghanistan, Pakistan, Punjab. This Gandharan art in the Greek style shows the Buddha because of this interaction. Here we see the Kushan, Kushan Palako freeze with the Buddha and on his side is Vajrapani. Vajrapani is depicted like Hercules because of these cultural links. It is all very much demonstrated and well documented in the art. And there is a sea of books in the libraries written about this period and these interactions. The East had a scientific tradition, just as strong as the West. In fact, every single computer today runs on ones and zeros. Who invented the zero? The zero was not invented in Greece. It was not a Pashmi Sabyata Koyota Me Mayana Tatwa Anusanan Kopal Tiena Yo Hamro Purva Hamro Himali Beg Muni Parne Maha Upa Upadvipko Sabyata Kopalo. Uh, Pingala, he, he, he devised Shunya, he devised the uh, binary numeral system and the binomial theorem. Theorem we can see in this old uh, Gandharan Birchbark manuscript, this Pandulipi, we can see zeros and one, two, three, four, etc. And this has been uh, 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 dendrologically uh, calibrated radiocarbon datings, put this to, to between 224 and 383 AD, but of course, uh, Pingala lived three in the third century BC. So it is very old, this Shunya, and advanced mathematics was developed here. And we see it, of course, in later inscriptions in Gwalior and here in, uh, in uh, uh, Cambodia. Of course, all of this Southeast Asian Sabyata comes from here. It spread from here, from the Ganga, all the way to uh, the uh, Sangeet, temple dancing, uh, astronomy, physics, all of the sciences spread from here to there 2000 years ago. The best book even to this day about this is written by Majumdar in the 1920s, two volumes about Suvarnabhumi, but it's a very big, um, I think published in Oxford or Cambridge, very big uh, study by Majumdar about the spread of Hindu Sabyata all the way to Bali and Lombok, all the way you know, into uh, so, so anyway, there you see also a Sunya in, in the Khmer inscription. Sambor, this is Sambo in, in Khmer, but it is Isanapura. Anyway, this is the Maurya Samraja, and this is a center of learning. In the center of learning, we had philosophical movements arising, such as the Brahman movement in the West, so Brahmanism. But in the East, we had all these Shraman movements. We are in the East. Shraman movements led by people such as uh, Bauta, uh, uh, Gautama, Buddha Siddhartha Gautama, Buddhism, Jainism, Ajivikism, these Sharamana movements in the East. And during the period of Ashok, Buddhism prevailed above all of these movements, both Brahmanism and above the two Sharamana movements. So this spreading from Nepal, what is now Amru Nepal, this prevailed as the leading philosophy or school of thought in the East. This is an Asokan inscription here in Nepal, in Lumbini. You can see it's written in Brahmi script. Why is Brahmi script so similar to Greek script? As Professor Falk has demonstrated, Paraman Gareko, Ashoko Amapani Yavanathio. So he was half Greek. And of course it is based on Aramaic, both Karoshti script and Brahmi script are based on Aramaic, but this one looks more Greek inspired, Kinabani. And as all of Ashok's inscriptions, not all of them, but most of them, they start with uh, De Devana Pia Pia Dasi, you can read it in Brahmi script. So it is. it starts with uh, the, the beloved of the gods, Uafailai, beloved of the gods, Banna Mantio. And he, he says here in Lumbina, the Buddha was born. So this is here in, in Nepal. The Gandharan Buddhist text, Yo Pura Hamro Himal Muniko Upa Mahadvipko Sabyata Ko Sabanda Purano Pandulipiharu. The oldest manuscripts in the Indian subcontinent that exist are these in the Karoshti script, and they are Buddhist teachings that emanated from the Nepal in the Gandharan civilization. Later, we have Pali, the language that the Buddha probably spoke here in southern Nepal. Uh, it is actually a literary form of Magadan or Magadi Basa. And Pali language was 
we have through oral recitation and it was only written down in the in the uh, uh, first century BC during the reign of King Valagamba. So we have this knowledge emanating in all of these sciences emanating through this area. Jo Manselai, Buddha Dharma, Atva Buddha philosophy, ko itihas ruchi laksa, you you always have to dispute and study the text to find which is the oldest text, which is the most original. And this is something that I treat in a book that I'm trying to finish about the history of Buddhist uh, thought. So uh, this is an interesting question. But what is interesting for us is that these teachings, here on the left we see a, a Buddha from the Gandhara Savita. It is a very old Buddha, and therefore it looks just like it, someone who was born in Lubina might look because it is very original. It is very, you know, Prachin Kalko, Kandara Sabitako, Bodo Komurti Aile, Tokyo Ko Ueno, Ma Chimek by Steve Baiko, Sangarale Ma. It is on display. It is a Kandara Sabitako, Buddha Komurti. And this is the Buddha, the way he may have looked. And he looks like uh, he could be Nepal. But then by the time, these teachings and this science reaches all the way to Japan. This is the Buddha in Kamakura. He looks very orientalized by that time. But of course, he was a, he was a Chetri living in the Sakya kingdom in the south. And this is the spread of Buddhism that we see spreading around from Nepal and the Ganges Great, the Gangetic Plain, all throughout. If you go to any temple in Japan you will find in the best, uh, the biggest and oldest temples, you will find Hamro, Buji Mall, Ranjana Mall, uh, Newari, uh, uh, Lippi, Purano Lippi, on the tankas, on the, on the bronze images. Uh, from Nepal, all of this knowledge and art and sabyata spread throughout Asia. So, and we talked about universities. We talked about Euro European universities. Here were universities too. Nalanda Mahavihar was a university. It was one of the oldest universities of Hamro Mano Sabyataka Prichin Kalko, Vidya Pitarumadi, Sabanda Purana, and Sabanda Tulo. It was established in Rajagriha in 427 AD during the Gupta Palama in the Gupta period, and it flourished until it was destroyed in 1197 by the first of many waves of Muslim invasions. There are many waves of Muslim invasions coming in this direction and coming in the other direction. Around this time, the University of Constantinople was also destroyed. As we know, all of Western Eurasia, uh, excuse me, Western Asia Minor was Greek, Yavanaru, Greek, Basa, Boleko, Tea, and the Turks have come. Now it is Turkey in, 14, uh, in, in the 15th century, even, Istanbul, even Constantinople fell and, and Istanbul became a Turkish city. Now they speak Turkish there and the Turks have come and the, the university was extinguished. So here also they burnt more than 90 Nabe Lak Kitabaru were destroyed. Not just Bauda Dharma, Buddhist philosophy, and Jain philosophy, also astronomy, physics, maths. This was all destroyed. Many professors and students were slaughtered. So this is the first. Here in Nepal, we had Atisha. Atisha was from the Pala Adiraja. Pala Adiraja was actually a Bengal-based Adiraja, but it spread all the way to where we have now Allahabad and into Artarai. And it was a Buddhist kingdom. It were, you had uh, the Pala dynasty like Dharmapal and Devpal, these famous kings. And Atisha was a famous preceptor of Buddhism. And where did he come? He came here to Nepal. And here in Nepal, he is known, of course, as Atisha, but he's also known in Tibetan as Joje. Jo is, you know, the ven jo Je, the venerable lord, the teacher. Because he is so famous, he has a separate name in Tibetan. He established this, this pure doctrine of Buddhism called Kadampa in Tibetan. Later, this was reformed or improved by Tsonghapa, and it became the Gelupa sect. And the Gelupa sect, everything that is marketed today in the international community by the Dalai Lama as Buddhism, this was promulgated 
by Atisha. And where did Atisha teach? How many of you have been here? You've been there. Many people, I go there. My, um, some of my friends come there. I, gra- I drag them there. It's being restored. Almost nobody goes there, I think. Vikramashil Mahavihar, it's in Tamil nowadays. Nowadays, Tamil exists there, but this is much older. It's now being beautifully restored. Atisha taught there. We have a text of the Sahars Pragya Paramita dated to 1223 AD. It is there. It is amazing. This is such a center of civilization and knowledge here, Nepal. So this is where Atisha taught. This is how Buddhism came into its modern form into Tibet. Uh, I mean, Buddha, Buddhism reached Tibet earlier, but the, the, uh, the, the school that is prevalent in, in Tibet now, it, it came through Nepal. We have so much knowledge and, and art in Nepal, Araniko. He went all the way to the Titikera Chin Chin Komanche Afnu Desma Shasam Garenan. China was attacked many times. The Tibetans also ruled uh, uh, China for two or three years, actually. They, that, that's another story. But at this period, after the after the Sung dynasty was extinguished in the mouth of the Pearl Delta, where they were fleeing, the emperor was fleeing, the boy emperor was drowned there. The Mongols began to rule China, and during the Mongol period, Jab Mongol Jati, Tini Chin Naru Mati Shasin Gariko, Araniko went there, and he, during the period of Kublai Khan, he spread his art and taught people in China. As a center of learning, is very old. So this is what I want to talk about. We have these Western and these Eastern traditions, and the Eastern tradition is just as important and rich. Now I want to change the subject and talk a little bit Afnu Barima. I studied, most of my study was in Leiden University. Most of my training was there, but also I studied Basavi Gyan Baik. I also studied biology in Leiden, and I also studied biology in Amrika Mabaiko, University of Virginia, and Nitio, Ivy League, uh, Duke University, Nitio, Holland, uh, Nemechema. Uh, Radboud uh, uh, So I have experience with different universities. Taramiro Talim Baik, I also have taught at different universities. First, I taught in Leiden. Later, I became a full professor and I had a chair in Leiden. Egara Barsuko Lagi Maile, Leiden Bisidiale, full professor Kurupma Paraiko, Egara Barsuko Lagi Tispachi, Switzerland Ecosystem Maile, Bara Barsuko Lagi Paraiko Chu. And I have experience of these universities. I have also taught at other universities and have also been a research fellow at other universities officially. And I have taught at these universities. I've taught a whole semester at the University of California in Santa Barbara, L'Ecole des Hautes Etudes en Sciences Sociales in Paris, one of the elite schools in Paris, Sydney University in Australia, uh, the royal government of Bhutan's uh, in the royal government of Bhutan, they have Bibin Bibin Sastan Haruchatya, Taiwan Co Academia Sinikama, the um, Royal Dutch Academy of Sciences, the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, the Museum National d'Histoire Naturelle, the Ecole Francaise d'Extrême Orient in uh, uh, Cambodia, uh, the uh, Université Paris Diderot and the Université Trent in Belgium. Um, so I, in all of these places, I've been familiarizing myself with the university system and how it works. In the bottom row, you have the um, uh, Institute, uh, the Max Planck Institute of Evolutionary Anthropology in Leipzig. And then you have Aile Samatian Samandi to to IIT, Indian Institute of Technology, Gohati, Australian National University. I had to give master's classes. I was invited to give master's classes in Canberra, University of uh, 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 New England in Armadale, Tiopani, Australia, Maho, James Cook University in uh, Australia. Oh, Cairns, 
on uh, the University of Edinburgh in Scotland. And last, Paila Yoda Soviet Sang Bani Destio, Yoda Leningrad Bani Sar Bani Tio, and there was an in- institute of uh, <laughs> Institute of, of Oriental Studies, Mati Ampani Deri Anusman Gariko Deri Vasiko. Also, Meru Vyakti Gat Anubav Baik, Tin Hatagari, Sheikh Hasinako, Sarkar Le Malai, Nimantra Nepotaiko, come here. अनि शेख हसीना त्यहाँको प्रधानमन्त्रीले उद्घाटन गरेको कार्यक्रममा त्यो अन्तर्राष्ट्रिय मातृ भाषा दिवसको कार्यक्रम थियो चार दिनको कार्यक्रम म चार दिनको लागि त्यहाँ उले उद्घाटन प्रधानमन्त्री उद्घाटन गरेपछि मैले किन स्पीच दिने थियो अनि स्पीच किन स्पीच दिएर त्यो कार्यक्रम सुरु भयो चार दिनको कार्यक्रम चार दिनको लागि no janus, bane Dr. Ajun Karki ko adesh ayo. Alik Smai liye ratiya, dui hapta janus tiya, janus Bangladesh, ani yo Asian University of Women ma, yo naya yo da bishwadiyale stapana vahe ko, tiyo naya bishwadiyale gaya ra, look at how it is done, try to understand how the program is, and I went there, and it was very educational for me. I learned a lot. There, it was very worthwhile. Ma Bandagari, yo Nepal, Bishi Dale Purvadar, Vikastayari Sametiko Sadasya Haru, Josto, Amaru Bipen Adikari, Dr. Arjun Adikari, and Arko Sadasya, Afai Pony, Gai Sakiko, Tio, and Uni Rupani, Tia Anusundan, and Mali Sikiko Kura, Uni Lepani, Tio Gyan Prat Gariko, that I will tell you what I found out. And they let me speak to all of the Nepali students first. So, a ganta ko lagi maile sabai Nepali vidyarthi aru bolayera. Tar sabai Nepali vidyarthi aun saake na tar yo tasvir ma baaye ko jati maile itni aru sanga bolay ko for one uh, hour. Kine bani they had classes. Many of them have classes. So, but then after that, I also gave a talk there. I talked about the history of tea. Chia ko itihas ko bari ma bolay ko, and it was. Very nice to be there. But most interesting, I talked with the people there. I talked with the staff. I was able also to talk with the teach. Your official karikram ko bhagma, I talked with the staff and the leadership. Unofficially, I talked with the teachers informally and also talked with the students. And in Nepali vidyati, or sangha matre hoina, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, or COVID-19, Iran, COVID-19, or sangha, kuragareko, and I learned many things. This is what I learned. I think only five or six slides about what I learned, mm-hmm. and I will read it to you because some of it is written by Tianko Kamgani Mancherlu, Tianko Mancherle. They have a pre UE, I can't say it, pre UG program, a pre undergraduate program, because some people come from disadvantaged backgrounds. They come and they are very smart and intelligent, but they did not get the opportunity to learn Mavi Ma. Job Signu Pornetio, to Bisidalima Pornacolagi, they did not learn that, and then they have this pre UG program. And this Asian University of Women, ma, the pre UG program, ma, Tinota Componenta, English, Maths, and Computer Science. So, writing, writing in English, Karamendere Manche, Oniru, Angreji, Karabolton, Tara Afnuso Chai, Tokriona Sardena in Likitruba. So creative writing and uh, good writing with so much technology at their fingertips. We sometimes Mile Likiko, not you, Matthew Arule Likiko, Bina Kurano Harule Likiko Texo. With so much technology at their fingertips, we sometimes are forced to use paper and pencil just to be sure the students, students can actually do the work and are not using the computer. Our maths starts with algebra does some geometry and trigonometry and ends with pre-calculus. We have two maths courses in our core, calculus and probability and statistics. Our goal is that the students will be prepared for either course. Our maths program is most integrated between pre-UG and UG, yet we still, which is pre-undergraduate and undergraduate, yet we still face problems with a subset of students with very weak skills. Computer science, taste for a component is composed of computer fundamentals, logical thinking, and programming. Programming with Python and programming with C. My like, 
एक दो ये प्रश्न त्यां सब देखो द पीपल हु गो ऑन टू स्टडी ललित कला और एशिया को इतिहास डू दे हैव टू लर्न मैथ्स टू द प्री कैलकुलस और अर्ली कैलकुलस लेवल त्यो तो अलग कति अप्थारो छ इट्स अ सिलेक्शन फैक्टर त्यो तो हो बट डू दे हैव टू लर्न दैट ओनियरले दे कन्फेस टू मी हम हामी पनि त्यसको बारेमा अहिले छलफल हुँदै छ किनभने कुनै मान्छे maybe they don't need it but unir ko karyakram pani arkai ho unir ko karyakram level of arts hoi na hala programming with python programming with c male pani sodiko programming with c ho 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 tyo yoda hamro pani yoda chunau te ho it's actually too difficult for some of the students they can learn if they're good to learn program with python but programming with c we're going to drop it can anybody that's already to challenge you and do they have to know that if they are going to study maybe lalit kala this is also maybe they have to learn english if we teach in english let me read it enterprise resource planning or student information system some kind of overall system that integrates students grades scores monitors attendance and calculates gpas this is american expression grade point average उटेंगे खर्चिलो हुन्छ बट इट इज एन इम्पोर्टेन्ट इन्भेस्टमेन्ट अर्ली अन एन्ड शुड बी बजेटेड फर एन ईआरपी आई लर्न दिस एब्रिविएशन देयर मलाई थाहा थिएन अ एन्टरप्राइज रिसोर्स प्लानिंग सिस्टम क्यान कभर द होल युनिभर्सिटी इन्क्लुडिंग ह्युमन रिसोर्स फंक्शन्स व्हाइल एन स्टुडेन्ट इन्फर्मेसन सिस्टम इज मोर स्टुडेन्ट ओन्ली फोकस्ड ल अर्को योर स्लाइड लर्निंग म्यानेजमेन्ट सिस्टम एन अनलाइन पोर्टल फर स्टुडेन्ट्स एन्ड फ्याकल्टी दैट क्रिएट्स virtual classrooms in tandem with face to face classes one of the best known is blackboard i know they use that in leiden but i left leiden just as they started to use it in in switzerland we use something else microsoft has teams and google has google classroom blackboard is expensive but feature laden while teams and google classroom have both free and paid versions it is vital that the entire university agree to one single learning management system and use it from the start number 4 admissions model will the university be easy in sabai jana swikarne ani pasna sagne difficult out in that case admissions is more a matter of filtering for reasonable candidates and letting the pre undergraduate program select the strong students to enter the undergraduate program uh weaker students can be exited with a certificate of participation or will it be difficult in somewhat difficult out this means that stricter admissions tests would filter out students from the outset but then of course many people from certain backgrounds might not get a foot in the door in the first place so it might be discriminatory because some people come from different backgrounds okay outsourced management if the university has a pre undergraduate program it is useful to invest in an external assessment product for language and perhaps maths we banico asian university of women kumancheru use password which tests english and maths if only english is being tested tufel and ielts are well known this is money well invested re to guarantee a minimum standard of student entering the university proper If this is not done there is a risk of weak studies making it through the system and burning burdening the undergraduate program re this is all from them the last from them is foreign fair faculty caretakers as an international university attracting talent from outside of nepal but this is what they think based on their experience in bangladesh there must be a, a on staff people on staff whose sole job is to look after the needs of the faculty housing transportation insurance visas banking and the like nothing will make expat faculty unhappy more quickly than arriving at a new job and having to deal with a myriad of frustrating frustrating bureaucratic hurdles 
Yes, I do. Yes, yes, yes. But it's written for them, for yeah. by Bangladesh, and they they are advising us in Nepal. Oh. So it is everything. All of these slides, all the text is written by them. So I did not write the text. My kune thoma angrezi so jaiko program deki program banaiko. But this is written by them, thinking of their experience in Bangladesh for Nepal. These slide, these slides from the Asian University of Women are not by me, with the exception of this one. This is my slide because I found out this when I was there. I talked with the staff and I talked with the students. Oh, in this course, there are 20 people. Where are they? There are free courses online given by Harvard, Stanford, MIT. The students want to learn. They think some of these online courses are better than the students' the courses offered there. They want to learn, and these girls have gone out and they're sitting there learning. They don't get credit, but they go and they say, no, and they do this. So this is something that is, we will face this also. This is what, this is your slide, Meroho. The others are from them. So this is what I found out. We will face this also. This is also my slide, but this is what they have. They have five majors, bioinformatics and biotechnology, economics, environmental sciences, and what they call PPE, which is politics, philosophy, and economics, and they have public health, five majors. This is the Asian University of Women. It's a great initiative, but, and then they have minors, and we have to department, mukya bise, ani minor bise, to major, minor, and department. Because when we set up a curriculum, all of these three things are separate. The minors here are listed biological science, computer science, development studies, economics, environmental science, finance, gender studies, to America co fashion, no? Mathematics, ani public health. Those are the minors that they have. This is a great institute. Of higher learning, but Kune Europe Kodesma Tila University Banetiana because it does not meet the legal requirement of a university. It is a higher vocational study because it is a business, health, public health school. It does not have the it does not have the interdisciplinary nature of a university. It does not have all the subjects. So it is has many lessons for us to learn, and those lessons are written down by them kindly for us from Bangladesh, but we have other lessons. And in Nepal, I have pointed out, we developed the zero here in this part of the world. We developed all sorts of higher science and arts here. There's an ancient historical link with, between Pashmi Sabyatako uh, Vigyan Koparampara and the Vigyan Koparampara Yaha. This is the same thing. We should, Hami Alikati Gunestaria, because we have to aim for the stars. Nepal can be, the Nepal Bishri has to be much more than this higher vocational education for the girls of, in Bangladesh, because it is not a university by European definition or even by an American definition. So we should use, look at other models also. So I have looked at all of the top 10, top 10 curricula in the American liberal arts colleges, the top 10. Here I've named five, but I've looked at 10 of them. What departments do they have? They're all listed here from anthropology and alphabetical order to theater and dance. Some things, if you look at them, I made them blue. Classics, Greek, Latin, Hamilai, Yavana Haru ko basa chayinsa. Rome ko prachin, Rome ko Latin basa chayinsa ki. Bane mero manma shankayo. I know Latin, Greek, teti ramra on dayna. I've studied the classics, but do we need this in Nepal? This is a question. Malai karra rus basa alta. But Russian and Slavic studies, it's in all of the top 10. American, they have a department. Sometimes they have two or three departments, but I have only listed one. Russian and Slavic studies, it depends on the university. They always have at least one Russian department. 
Do we need that in Nepal? I speak the language If we take this and adapt it to the Nepali situation, we have almost the same thing. I have replaced Slavic with Kiranti and Trans-Himalayan languages. I have replaced the classics with Nepali, Sanskrit, and Indo-European studies. Everything else I have left the same. I have colored some things blue because I don't know if we need it. But this is just a model. This is just a suggestion based on the American, uh, best, the best of America, the best thing that America has in its liberal arts. And these are the departments. You see physics and astronomy, psychology, mathematics and statistics, linguistics and epistemology, law and government. All of these things are there. Do we need Chinese? Do we need German? Do we need Japanese? Do we need French and Romance languages? These are questions you can answer. These are not questions I will answer. I'm not the only, I'm not the person making decisions. But this is my uh, interpretation, my adaptation of the American system at an Uche Estadia level to the Nepali context. A university is a place of knowledge and intelligence. The University of Nepal will be the face of the nation in the international academic community. People in Ushuaia or South Africa, Cape Town, or in Tokyo, when they think of Nepal, they will, in future, intelligent, educated people will look to the University of Nepal. They will not necessarily look to the uh, to uh, uh, Mero uh, Sati Rajesh Amal uh, or any of the Nepali cinema uh, uh, productions. They will not look to the politicians either. They will not look to the government. They will look, the University of Nepal will be the face of Nepal internationally. It will be Vigyanic Nepal. So this will be very important. So the decisions we take today have to show our wisdom because that will reflect. It will be the visiting card of the nation. We have to be proud of it. Future generations have to be proud of it. So I have identified eight to Nauti and then I'm finished. So this is very short. But these are Meru Anubhavma Adharat Sapaiti Mali Padeko Atava Anusanan Magareko Bisi de Alaheruko Karikram Haru and Kurikula Herida Anusanan Gare. These are the things that I think we face as, as, as problems we face. Especially this. Number one, I have to put as number one. Vishwe de Ale Banone Vatorni. Selecting the right people makes or breaks the university. Recruitment and selection is the only real control, a quality control movement, a moment, excuse me. When you, when we are a selection committee and we here work for a week or a month to select the next, you know, I mean, uh, 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 and this Pradhyapak is going to be responsible for Sanskrit, Nepali, and Indo-European studies. We have to look at his Vigyanic Utpadan. We have to look at how much he has published. We have to not look at his Jat, his Ling, or any of these things, we, or his Nagarikta. We have to look who is the best man or woman for the job. And then we have to select that person. If we do this work right, then for years to come, we can sit in the in the coffee shop and drink coffee all day. And till come afai chalsa. But if we select someone who is either a political appointment or he is a, 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 a you know, natavad ko, atavad te, te Europe ma pani huncha, kaili kita, it's very rare, but it is te huncha. And then, or, it, it, or, or something mediocre. Then, for years to come, Jati quality control management Gario Bane Patni, Jati Samay Barwad Gario Bane Patni, accreditation exercise Garera, we kune pragati hunde na. It will be a waste of time. So the, the selection is so important. This is Chunauti number one. We have to select the right people. Number two, Talab Akarsak China Bane, Chunaut Prakriya Prati Spardi Hune China. It has to be competitive. Hamile Nepal ma basna chahine kei prativashali vidwan haru. I chin my le chinchu kuni tisto mancheru vidwan haru avasa pauna sakcho. Tara talab akarshak bhai na bani yi bishesh bhakti haru bhai hami sapai banda prativashali shikshak haru lai Nepal bishesh jale ko lagi pauna sakdeino. 
we have your paisa kukura. We do not have to give a talab that is as much as in America or Europe, but we you we have to have a talab that if we get someone from outside, at least they have to get earn enough that they can fly back to visit their sick mother or something. So we it has to be. You have to think about this. but it is important. Chunauti number three. Nepali Nibasi visa ko prakriya janjati lo bayo bane kame sanga kune bideshe pratiba one China. Scholars and scientists will seek greener pastures elsewhere if this is too different. Actually, in Europe, America, and uh, Japan, if you come as a foreign scholar at a high level, to get Swiss. <laughs> I just have a friend, he just married someone. It took him more than 19 months to get his Nepali wife back to Tara. If you are a Padyapak, five minute kukuraho. Literally. So, so this is the way it works. And also Bidesi Bidyarti Biza Paniti Stehuncha. It has to be like this in Nepal. Otherwise, it's uh, we will be giving a wrong message to the people. You know, we don't want to give that. Pants minute, pants minute lagio, and then you got the highest kisum. La, to note in number char, Vidwan Ravigyana Karu ko sa sekshikra baudik sa tantra ta hunu porta. We have to have total academic freedom in Nepal. I think this is not a difficult matter actually this is an important matter so i mention it but it is difficult difficult china kinabani nepal satantara rakula samaj neho the most open in all of south asia the best journalism in all of asia we are the most free here yeah? we can say what we think in nepal so i think we will have this but we just have to be on guard that it stays this way so we already have this but it is we have to mention it so maile but in Nepal, we are in a very fortunate condition. We have the best. So not in number five. Some of this philanthropy is okay. It is very okay. Because kune prabhav parnunna khojne kesam ko bidesi datara True philanthropy, just to endangered languages documentation program, George Soros Open Society Foundations, the Rockefeller Foundation, they give and they don't look back and they don't try to mix into what you're doing. They don't even care. They're just happy. They're, so also some governments have no strings attached. Just to Taiwan government scholarships, Cheng Ching Po Foundation in Taipei, Alliance Francaise, they don't try to convert you to French politics or to, you know, force you to eat croissant if you don't want to. Japan Foundation, Goethe Institute, Qatar Foundation actually is quite generous and gives money, although Qatar is an Islamic country. But we have to be careful because there are sutukka bu rajanitik laksha harupachande data harucha. We have had this problem in Europe. In many European countries and in most uh, of America, they have had to close the Confucius Institutes. Uh, Switzerland, my Yoda Matra Bankita in Geneva, and I know from people who are in that department, K. Banjati department, like uh, security, of the government, they egdom karchilo and time time intensive hunza because they have to watch that one Confucius Institute in Geneva all the time. Kinabane, Jasusi Kam Garza, they are industrial and military espionage Gardaita, surveillance of all the Chinese students in Switzerland Gardaita, Tibetan Uyghur Haru here data. They try to influence the geopolitical outlook of Swiss students. So in many places they are being closed or they are, so you have to be careful Islamic relief worldwide has an Islamic agenda, but we're not going to take money from them, but we have to be careful. This is another Chunauti. This is really Chunauti number six, and then there's two more. Artificial intelligence, just to providik, vikas haru, hami lai, shikshan, rapari shikshan, vidi haru, 
pura rethink, purna vichar, garnu badya parta. Because we have to rethink everything, not only in Nepal, everywhere. Look at this. Chat GPT has passed exams from law and business schools in America. So what do we do? You know, they, they put them with a paper and pencil now in, in the Asian university for women. And I remember because we, I came from a very traditional university uh, when I went to Switzerland, actually, that was the most difficult transition because they have 19th century rules and we have 16th century rules in Holland. The academic statute has not changed from 16th century, 50, 75. So some things are actually very simple. And when you administer an oral exam, we know how to administer an oral exam. Take a student one by one and interrogate them. How do you do that in an objective way? But then you know that it is not chat GPT writing his work or speaking through his voice. So this, these old arts have to be reinvigorated. This is Chunauti number two, and in Nepal, Bishidale Kolagi, Matre Hoina. It's also for MIT, Leiden, Paris, Harvard, everywhere. Chunauti number Sat. And this is actually an opportunity, a window of opportunity for Nepal. We have to tap into the international academic market and draw foreign students. Nepal ko bises taharusong. Bauda Dharma ya bara aiko, Brahmanism ya bara aiko, Jain. Mahavir Jain, Yatira, Hiriko, Charvaka, Ajivika, all of these Indic philosophies, schools of thought and belief systems, we can teach this here because people are coming from Cornell, from Wisconsin, from the University of Heidelberg, from Japan, here to Nepal to learn these things now. They're paying their own universities to take them in programs here now. They should not be paying Cornell and Madison and uh, Tokyo University and, uh, and Heidelberg. They should be paying us, excuse me. They should be paying <laughs> Nepal Bishidiale and we should be teaching them here in Nepal. This is Chunoti number Sat. This is a window of opportunity for us. This we should do, we should claim this because this is our heritage. And this, we, this is our academic and Veganic heritage, we should claim this and we should propagate this. To note in number at is very important and it is the last thing I have to say. And I have to remind you about the lessons of history that we learned at the University of Harderweg, which taught Carl Linnaeus and many other famous people and quickly thereafter no longer existed. <clears throat> Repurposing old Pokhara airport, look how beautiful this is. This should be the campus. This is not the official opinion yet of the uh, uh, Nepal Vishidale uh, Purvadar Vikas uh, Tayari Samiti, but it is my personal opinion very strongly based on experience. Based on experience at all of these places and based on historical experience because. The University of Hardavek is not the only university that became unsuccessful because it was in some kunakatsa. And Nepali, Nepali vyakti ra Holland ko vyakti ko saja bisesita yoda panicha. They share some characteristic. Holland ko manche kune kura pocket ma payo bane, sitte ma payo bane ekdom. So in Holland, we love to get things for free. And of course, certain things we get for free we have to think twice, I think, because Nepal has to be a global player. We have to have a place where Hardavek, I told you, is not the only university that became a suffle in Europe in 1000 years of European university history. But it is a very good example because it came, became a suffered precisely because it was far away from infrastructure. You can put, build all the infrastructure in the university you want, but then when the professors and the students go outside and they find themselves in a Durgam Chetra, it doesn't work. Tisto kisim ko ecosystem pokrama chande cha. Pokra even has cleaner air than Kathmandu. Pokhari can be transformed into a cultural hub of international allure by the University of Nepal. 
then in the we have not only Pokhara Vishwavidyalaya, Arko Arko Sultana Rupani, but the big University of Nepal will be there. We will have intellectual conversations all over Pokhara. And I think this is the place because also, Ma Pokhara Ma Baschu Paraya, just so Nepal Ma Humda, Tianko Hallaharu Suninsa, Tana Tan Hunsa, Yo Deshiko Lagi, Yo Deshiko Lagi, Yo Sabanda Ramro Jagaho, Pokhara. Jun Suki Maile Suniko Udesha Nepal Bishwe Dyale Banda Avashek China. It's all Herapaleko Unza Tio Jaga, if it is for any other purpose. A wise government who thinks about the future of Nepal, the future of generations, will say this land has to be reserved for Nepal Bishwe Dyale. And then people will come, even if they get less salary, students will come. Nepali, Nepali scholars will be very happy to teach there and breathe the clean air and work there. And another facet of a university, if you go to BHU, Banaras Hindu University, Banaras, Atava Junsuki America Ko Liberal Arts College, Atava Harvard Pani, the campuses are open parks, Sarvajanic Park, Sapai Janatya Hinna Aunsa, Tourist Deki Lira Tyanko Basindaharu, they can take their walk, they can take their sandwich, they can sit there. If we plant trees there, make a beautiful campus, everyone in Pokhara can have Kune Kinabani, one of the different Udeshaharu is make a park there. Well, we can make a park there. If we make a campus, it will be a park for everybody and not just for all Nepalis, for everyone who comes to Nepal, that we will be proud to show them campus of ne Nepal Bishwadiyali. And they can come and they will see how beautiful the campus is. And so I think this is the last Junoti, but I think it is also just as important as the first one. And with that, I wanted to end my talk. <laughs> but I think it is important. So this is my, my talk and my my view on Nepal Vishwadiyali. I think, please, you come supple parao, one in middle asset, sir. Floor is open for discussion. Please. <laughs> Any question or comments that you may have? Any personal information? You can't try the book, right? Yeah, online word of the day. So, to not even ask you, Shari, what's that? Breaking one. Exclusive. But it's what you're doing. So, I know. So, I'm very nice. 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 So